Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a Nigerian basic red stew. I've had loads of friends ask me, how do we make this sauce? We love this sauce. We'd not love to know how to make it. It's a very, very, very simple sauce. You'd be really embarrassed how simple it is to make. But it's a Nigerian basic red stew. Okay, so let me take you through what you're going to need to make this stew. You're going to need some vegetable oil, some onions. I'm choosing two, but you don't need two. You can have one if you want, but I like onions, so I'm using two. You need some scotch bonnet chilies, some tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes are always better, but I prefer plum because it's more convenient. I like the flavour of plum tomatoes as well. Garlic, some stock cube, and some fresh chicken, okay? So once we've got all these ingredients, we're ready to start. So let's get you started. Okay, so we've done a little bit of prep now and we've sliced our onions. We've chopped up our, our chili very coarsely. It doesn't matter at this moment because we're going to blend anyway. We've chopped our garlic and now I'm going to put some, uh, uh, some oil, vegetable oil, into the pan. Put about 50 ml, that's about five serving spoons. Five large serving spoons like that in there. That should do it. Uh, I'm going to get that to heat up a bit. Um, and then I'm going to put my tomatoes into my blender like that. and I'm going to add my chilies, be careful with these, they're very hard, and my garlic, okay? And we're going to blend those together. Um, in the meantime, my oil is heating up. I'm going to add my onions. To the hot oil and just move that around and leave it to sweat or to simmer for about two to three minutes yeah so I'll just move that around so it doesn't stick so you can see it's starting to go a little golden brown and we're going to leave that to simmer just for like one more minute left um, as you can see, I've blended my tomatoes and my chili and my garlic together. You can fry your garlic if you choose to, it doesn't really matter which way it goes in, but I've blended mine, I'm happy with that. Um, and you can use about, if you're using fresh tomatoes, maybe about three or four large fresh tomatoes or a tin of plum tomatoes. But anyway, I've blended all this together and I'm going to add this to my browning onion. Lovely rich red sauce. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this sauce to simmer for about five minutes there about. What I want to get out of this is, is, is it the tomatoes to dry. So we're going to fry dry them so they actually come out like a puree in itself. Okay? If you look at it now, quite saucy. And what we want to do is to dry it out a bit more so it actually looks like a tomato paste. Okay? So we're going to leave that for about four or five minutes. Keep turning it at intervals so it doesn't stick to the pan and keep that on a medium heat. Right, right I'm going to wash my chicken in the meantime and uh, in five minutes we'll come back to that. Right, I've washed my chicken and uh, my tomatoes are looking dry. I've had to turn the heat down a little bit because I didn't want it to go black in the brown. But if you have a look, it's now gone from that sauce to being a little bit of a stodgy kind of paste and that's exactly how we want it to be and the idea being that you you cook it so that the sweetness of it doesn't doesn't have that sharp sour sweetness but you get the sweetness of the tomatoes in it and that's what happens when you cook them down and, and condense them like this but now that we've got the right consistency con sorry now that we've got the right consistency that we want it to be uh, and we've got the flavors out of it we're going to add our chicken to it by the way, for those of you who want to use tomato puree, this is the point that you put your tomato puree in. And when you put the tomato puree in, you also leave that for a few minutes to dry and, and to blend in with the tomatoes that are in there already. I'm not using tomato puree because I like my stews like this and it works just as nice. So here we go, we've put my chicken in. I've got about eight pieces here of chicken, so that would serve four very greedy men. Uh, not really. Four, 
from the four halfpence and I'm just going to mix that through so that the chicken is coated with the sauce and you've got the full intensity of the, the chicken, um, the, sorry, the full intensity of the tomato and the flavours in that in the chicken, okay? There you go. Now we're going to need some water. Um, I'll get some water. Um, I would say just enough to simmer it. Maybe one glass, half a litre at the very most. Can you see that? Actually, I'd like to put some more in because you're going to boil it for a little bit more. So you've got a, yeah, just under half a litre of water that you put in with that, okay? And at this point, I'm going to put some cubes, some stock cubes. You can use any stock cubes you like, vegetable or beef or whatever stock cubes. In Nigeria, we, we, we love these, the Maggi cubes. If you ever see these, go run out and get them. They're great. We use this in most of our cooking, the Maggi cubes. They're beef stocks and they're quite a lovely, intense uh, flavour. It doesn't matter that you're using it with chicken. It works all the same way and that's how we do it. So we've got that in there. We've got some salt in there. I'm going to mix that through. I'm going to leave that on a medium heat to simmer for about half an hour until the chickens are cooked. Okay, so we'll come back to that then. Okay, so now you see this. It is absolutely smelling amazing. So you can see now the sauce is a little bit thicker because I've allowed the chicken to simmer slowly in this and the chicken's very succulent and falling off the bone and that's how I love my red stew. So this is a very basic Nigerian red stew. But while this was simmering for the last half hour, um, I think it was 35 minutes we left it simmering for, I boiled some rice. So we're gonna have this with rice. Just get some. have this with white rice because it's a, a great way to have this and forget you can have this with fried plantain if you wish you can have this with boiled yam you can have this with most stuff that's bland but um this is just how I eat it in Nigeria and it's absolutely delicious it's really beautiful rich flavors are coming through and it's very very simple you don't really need much to go with it um, great on its own and because my mother used to love us when she makes this she'll always have this and this is how we also eat this in Nigeria with plantain I love plantain so it really complements the sweet of the sauce and it's just lovely and makes the food a little bit more interesting as well to have a bit more variety in your plate and just to balance it out and, and keep it nutritionally alive and conscious. I love my greens. So what I've done here is I've just seasoned some spinach and I love having spinach with, with my rice. So this is how I would have this. There you go. Now can you tell me what you think of this? This is how we would have our red stew with chicken or any meats that you like. You could even have it with fish. All greens and fried plantain. Enjoy. Let me know what you think. <laughs>